I am going to show you how Dream in Color works. This was my first action set that I created. Um, it's actually kind of funny. I was planning on creating an action set um, just to fix your Flocati rugs, softening them up and changing the color tones and those sorts of things, which this one does, um, fixes your Flocati rug. But I kind of started just doing everything else and giving away all my little secrets in one big package. So here it is. This is um, Dream in Color and it is... Um, best for indoor photos, gentle ethereal photos, photos that are inside in front of your window, whites, um, if you want white hues, just super gentle. Um, it can be used outside as well if you want more of a gentle edit um, versus my enchantment um, action set which can be used for outdoor dramatic edits but that one also has some gentle hazes and tones and stuff like that too. Okay so let's get going. Um, when I first look at this image it's straight out of the camera. I was sh shooting with the 85 millimeter 1.4 and I shot this at 1.8 which gave me the good background blur right there. Um, super critical to get right in camera as are these catch lights in her eyes. Um, everything's natural in here. So um, just for my own brain I need to get rid of this little uh, spot on her nose. This isn't what this tutorial is for, but I'm doing it anyways. A patch tooled that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the dream set. Now this photo, it's going to show you very gentle edits. This can be used, like I said, if your subjects are standing in front of the window um, or on Flocati rugs. And the soften action is what I use on all of my Flocati rug edits. I use it at a gentle opacity and I paint it on. Um, but for the sake of all these other actions, I wanted to show you this in particular, this picture in particular. But I'll show you how Soften works. Um, keep in mind, Soften it takes a little bit while to load, so just be patient. So I'm going to go ahead and play Soften here. Now, after we're done with this, I'm going to go ahead and um, you can either mask on your action or you can mask off and I'm going to paint on um, because I want to avoid certain areas. You can always just leave it at full strength and then paint off the areas you want to remain in focus and those things are going to be like the eyes and the lips and the eyebrows but always remember to do everything at a gentle opacity otherwise um, it'll just be too drastic of an edit. And the lens blur is going. I could talk forever. Mm. <laughs> It's still going. So this is a pretty slow action, this soften action, but it's awesome. It's really awesome on Flocati rugs, like I said. It totally gives it that dreamy effect. Whole bunch of different things going on right now under that blur. Almost there. And my computer's really slow with my movie recorder running as well. It doesn't help things. Almost done. This is definitely the slowest action out of all of my sets. Normally it's not this slow. Like I said, it's because I have quick time running, but um, it is a little bit slower. But so worth it. This is something I kind of discovered and made up on accident, and it just ended up being fabulous. Hope everybody hasn't turned it off. <laughs> Almost done. Okay. There we go. Okay, here's the soften. Now you can tell it completely softens the picture way too much. Now the thing I like about this soften action is it doesn't over brighten where a lot of softening actions do. So I try to make sure in all of my action sets that your luminosity, your brightness, and your uh, remains the same no matter what action is run. So I'm going to go ahead and pull down this opacity a little bit. And I said I was going to paint it on. I'm just going to go ahead and paint it off. So get a black brush. At, a so at maybe like 40% opacity, make sure your brush is really soft. That's as soft as it'll go all the way to the left. And I'm going to gently just paint this off of her face to bring forward. I'm going to change this to a higher percentage because it's taking too long. You want her eyes totally clear from this. You don't want any of this on here. Okay. 
and use gentle. So this is the softening layer. Now, if you wanted to, you could flip this back to white and you could actually paint on her skin a little bit if you wanted to keep some of her skin kind of soft. Um, I do have a skin softening action in my enchantment set that you can use if you have the enchantment set um, on this as well. Um, and I also have a darken the eyelashes um, action in enchantment, which would be beautiful on her eyes. So there is soften. There's before and after. It just makes it really super pretty and soft. And I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of my history panel and flatten this image. You don't have to flatten, but I like to do that. It just makes it easier on me visually. Okay, warmer. I love this warming action. It just gives it a soft pink warmness versus a lot of warming actions that are just um, straight up orange. But So this is on and off with warm. I'm going to go ahead and turn and just delete this layer because I want to show you the other ones. And lighten is just a brightening. Here's air. Now air is what a lot of people like to use on newborn images. Um, from what I've been seeing from everybody who's been purchasing this set, air is the way to go with newborns. And I love this one. Um, now the haze, she's got a lot of haze over her face. So what we want to do is we want to cut some of that haze a little bit. Um, and these thin air and these warm air are the hazes. So I'm going to pull down this thin air just a touch and then I'm going to click on this layer mask, get my black brush, set the opacity to about 20% and just gently take some of that off. However, I still had it set to 100 so you can see why I can go back in your history panel. Here we go. Let's try this again. Let's set this to 20% and kind of gently mask off of her face a little bit. So it kind of brings her a little bit forward. So you can see how that made it not so hazy on her face. Now, the other action that is really great for this, I'm going to turn the warm air layer down as well. I'm going to collapse this group. If you're in Photoshop, you just go to the back to the background layer. Go to bring it forward, which is the best action ever, I have to say. This pops your subject forward, and this is how you cut haze. So there you go. There is without bring it forward. And there's with. Everybody wants to know what is Bring It Forward, and I just say it's just awesome. Um, it is also part of Enchantment. It's not in the black and white set, but it is in the two color set. Um, cloud is just a softer haze. Um, I love this one too, and you can run Bring It Forward on this to pop her through the haze. I would also take this and probably mask off her face a little bit. Um, with something like this, um, since hazes tend to cool things down, you could run warmer. Um, that would warm her up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it warms her up a little bit. And I'm going to pull this opacity down a little bit because you don't want the haze totally off of her eyes and totally drastic. That's a little bit better. Pretty. Just gentle, soft, light edits um, is what comes in the Dream Package. Um, here is Dream. Now, in Dreamy, you can pull the wake up layer off and that, that's the pop. The dreamy is the color. So I like to bring down the dreamy layer and then I'll probably bring down dreamy all the way, the whole, the whole action all the way down a little bit. So there's dreamy. Just gentle and soft like I love. Okay, here is dusk. This is my personal favorite. Love, love, love dusk. And here's pop the dusk so it's not so hazy. And I would pull down this layer opacity just a little bit. I'm not going to pop it. I like it not popped. Um, but I would probably end up running, bring it forward on here just because I do like to have my subjects brought forward from the haze a little bit. Like I said, not everybody does. But it's just enough to pop her eyes back out. So here's with bring it forward off. Here's bring it forward on. Pink mist. This is great to be used gently, super gently, um, just to give your subjects a little bit of pink, which a lot of times people need. Here's Glow. Now, Glow is awesome if you want to paint it on your Flocati rug. It'll make it just glow. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with this action. Um, you need to paint it on. You can paint it on in lower opacity. I'll just show you what it does. I'll brighten it up just so you guys can see, but um, I'll paint it onto this background. It kind of pops things out and makes things glow. This looks amazing on boudoir photography um, on their skin, on the woman's skin. It makes it glow, literally glow. If you visit Va Va Boom, um, 
photography. She does boudoir work and she's amazing. And she uses glow on her client skin. So there's glow on and there's glow off. Soft matte is, like, like it says, it's just a soft matte. You can use that with anything. Dreamy matte is my absolute favorite action of all time. And I use this about on every photo. Um, and I also use this in combination with my enchantment set. Um, so what I would do is you open up Dreamy Matte, go to Super Soft, and you're going to mask off the softness on her face. Because again, you don't want her eyes to be completely hazy. Um, and do that gently so it's not too drastic. You can also do that with the matte layer. Mask some of that matte off of her face. Not a lot of it, but just enough so it's a little bit more gentle. And you don't have to do that. A lot of people like to do more heavy matte edits, which are awesome. They're just not um, my... Um, type of editing style, but people that know how to do them do them really well. Um, here is Drama Matte, which um, a few of my friend photographers use this on everything. Um, oops, I almost changed that layer. You can pull this dark matte layer down a little bit, which I like, and then what I would do personally is take a little bit of this dark matte off of her face, um, just a little bit, but again, I had that at 100%. So I'm blabbing away. Okay, let's put it at 20% and just take it off just a little bit of the dark matte off. You can kind of see how that works. That's the dark matte. This one works really, really well on outdoor images as well. Um, if you want some of that dark matte look to your photos. Still kind of running here. Okay. That's drama matte. Now tones are just color tones um, for overlay on top of your picture. You can use these on top of all of your um, edits that you've already done. I love Breathe and I love Petal. So they're just some fun ones you can play with in there. And then Bring It Forward is the staple for everything. So if you guys have any questions, of course, feel free to email me. Um, but these pictures are always being put up all the time on my page. So. Um, I will look forward to talking to you guys all at some point. All right. Bye.